Okay. A lot of people like to think that sundials are really ancient technology, got no place in the modern world. But I find they can actually be quite useful in a high-tech application or two. Here we have a sundial which tells me that the solar array is actually pointing at where the sun is on a daily basis. This is my tower of power. This dial tells me that the solar array is pointing at the sun on an annual seasonal basis. By working this handle I can elevate the array so that when the sun's overhead in midsummer the array points straight overhead. Midwinter, as now, it faces the low northern horizon. Sundial Mark 1. Here we have a sundial, a Southern Hemisphere Universal Landmass Time Flow Indicator, which has been used as a destruction test for the noxious feral pest honey locust. 12 years in the sun, with no maintenance at all whatsoever, and finally, eventually, this one failed. Here we have a view for the real aficionado, a cubic sundial. At any one time, three faces tell the time. Sometimes it's only two, but right now, we're almost indicating midday. And this one works anywhere in the Southern Hemisphere. Dial in your own latitude. And here we have the equation of time. At the moment, 13th of July, it's running six minutes slow. That's due to the obliquity of the ecliptic. Here we have Moonlight conversions. This kind of sundial tells exactly accurate time on the full moon and it varies 48 minutes per night either side of the full moon. In the summer half of the year the sun rises and sets south of east so the south face works as well. This one's cute. The Capuchin sundial measures the altitude of the sun by focusing the sunbeam along that little line there and you tell the time by the bead on the string and it too says that we're nearly on midday and here we have the pendulum with the earth and the moon swapping positions as the pendulum spins and if around midday we measure the azimuth to get an idea of the time. Pretty accurate for a woodworker. But the ultimate sundial, in my view, is one that's streamlined for 100 kilometres per hour, works day or night, doesn't matter which way it's facing, but it saves 5.3 litres a week just by being there. So why don't you wake up to yourself, fit a sunfoil to your car, streamline your sundial.